Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Music Lyrics Explained 17. All right, the song we're covering today is by U2, and it's Pride in the Name of Love. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, this is a song written and performed by uh, U2 uh, that is a tribute to, kind of like an honor of, a tribute to Martin Luther King Jr., uh, the civil rights movement and the support of his message of peaceful protest. Yeah, so this is, uh, you know, this at this time of this video, this is in January, so Martin Luther King Day is coming soon. So this is, you know, one way to honor him as well. All right, now, and uh, I remember that uh, Bono, who's, you know, the, the main singer of um, U2, I know they were visiting the U.S. one time on one of the tours, and they went to Memphis, and I think they went and seen a display on... Uh, you know, a museum's display that they had on um, on Martin Luther King, and that that inspired them. That inspired them to write this song. And uh, and you know, in U2, in their early days, they used to be very. They wrote a lot of songs that were political in nature, uh, usually about the protest in Northern Ireland. Because remember, U2 is a group that is from Ireland. Okay, and I think I read somewhere that you know Bono, I think he kind of hoped that one day uh, Northern Ireland will have someone like a Martin Luther King, you know, to, to, so that uh, Northern Ireland would no longer, you know, could separate from the UK. I think that was part of the idea. Okay, anyway, though, let's, uh, let's, let's get into it, and like usual, I'll, uh, you know, read the lyrics, and I'll explain any, uh, any words that need to be explained. Okay, let's, let's start. All right, this is how it begins. Of course, the name of the song is Pride in the Name of Love, and that's, kind of how it begins. All right, so here it goes. This is the start. Uh, one man come in the name of love. One man come and go. One man come he to justify. One man to overthrow. All right, so, uh, all right, so one man come in the name of love. All right, so we should look at in the name of love. That's, that's in the title itself. Anytime we say in the name of something, it means like for the reason or the motivation of, or for the sake of, you know, you know, somebody did something uh, in the name of peace or in the name of justice or in the name of love, uh, you know, for this purpose, for the sake of this. That's what we mean by in the name of. If you do something in the name of something, you do it for that reason or for that purpose. Okay. Um, so one man come in the name of love. One man come and go. All right, the part about come and go, I think, just basically means live and die. He was here, he lived, and he's gone. Uh, one man come he to justify. One man to overthrow. All right, so let's look at that. Now, normally when we hear the word justify, it usually means to prove, uh, to prove something to be just or to be valid or to show good reason for it. It could kind of mean that, that, you know, he was showing good reason for the, the protest. But uh, remember, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist, uh, you know, minister, and he was Christian. And there is kind of a meaning in, in that. It would mean like to change from sinfulness to righteousness. And that, that is right along the line of Martin Luther King. So, of course, you know, his civil rights movement was against any injustices or you know, prejudice um, against, you know, African-Americans at that time. Uh, and, you know, due to his protest, the country came a long way from that time. Uh, the problem was much greater in the southern states of the U.S., but still um, a lot has improved drastically since the time that he came and gone. You know? All right, so let's go on. Uh, one man came, uh, he to justify. Okay, well... Could mean also just to make things right, you know. Uh, one man to overthrow. All right. Now, normally if we say to overthrow, so to force a leader or a government out of power, uh, this could mean a couple of things. Uh, remember, at the same time that Martin Luther King Jr. was around, there was another political uh, leader called Malcolm X, who, who I think also died before Martin Luther King. But his, his speech and his protest... Yeah, it was for the African Americans, but it was more of a, you know, a, 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 an aggressive one or a violent one. And um, he could be comparing the two. He could be comparing the two t different types of protest here. 
uh, where Martin Luther King came in a peaceful manner. Uh, but Malcolm X, you know, he was more serious. He looked like he wanted to resort to violence. And that probably would not have worked out very well at that time um, to do that. So maybe it's better off that didn't end up happening. But unfortunately, both Malcolm X and um, Martin Luther King ended up losing their lives. Most of them probably both were assassinated. And maybe they were assassinated, perhaps not by the people we think. Okay, let's continue. Uh, and then it goes into the, the, main, uh, the main chorus that gets repeated throughout the song. In the name of love, what more in the name of love? In the name of love, what more in the name of love? Meaning, well, you know, this was the purpose. This was the reason for it. <laughs> and then he goes on. The next verse goes this way. One man caught on a barbed wire fence. One man he resist. One man washed up on an empty beach. One man betrayed with a kiss. All right. Um, number of things here. Um, one man caught on a barbed wire fence. Well, this could just be, re represent, you know, protesting in general. Or trying to stand up to those that are trying to suppress you. Um... Okay. Uh, one man he resists. Well, that could be just directly in reference to Martin Luther King standing up to very powerful people and very powerful men. Um, one man he resists. Or it could just mean in general, just man resisting against, you know, um, being suppressed and being held down, injustice. Uh, one man he resists. One man washed up on an empty beach. Well, a lot of times when you stand up against very, very powerful people, sometimes you end up dead. Sometimes your body may end up washed up on a beach. We've seen this happen with people that became whistleblowers. Uh, you know, sometimes they make it look like suicide. But sometimes you just might find that the, their body might be found dead somewhere. So, and then of course, the, the last line of this verse is, one man betrayed with a kiss. Well, this is very obvious. This is very clear. Um, anyone who's Christian knows that that is a reference to Jesus. Uh, you know, go back, going back to the Bible, um, the apostle Judas, uh, when he uh, you know betrayed Jesus and supposedly you know sold him out for I think thirteen pieces of silver, uh, and that's how he was going to identify the Jesus by by giving him a kiss. So he was betrayed with a kiss. Uh, and also, I mean, this could be also kind of a reference, too, because uh, Judas uh, also thought that, you know, also was an apostle. And he wanted Jesus to be uh, like, um, like a military leader that was going to have wars and take over and conquer back the land. But that's not the way that he was. He was more, you know, just like... Martin Luther King, and Martin Luther King also, I think, took a lot of ideas from Gandhi, too. If you ever look at any of their quotes, they, they have a lot of similar ideas in their quotes. Uh, it was the peaceful one. Um, just like in the one that I covered, that uh, the song about uh, We Three Kings. Remember, Herod also thought that. That's why he had a lot of the little babies killed, you know, to get rid of uh, Jesus. So that's what they thought. So he's making a comparison here. Uh, that, you know, Martin Luther King, kind of similar in a way. He came in the name of love. Jesus came in the name of love. Sacrifice. They both were sacrifices, as well as Gandhi, too. Um, okay, let's continue. Uh, and then it says, uh, and then, of course, it's the chorus again. In the name of love, what more in the name of love? In the name of love. And then finally we get to which is pretty much like the last verse. Uh, early morning, April 4, shot rings out in the Memphis sky. Well, uh, this refers to the day that Martin Luther King gets killed. Uh, it was on April 4th. Uh, well, that's another thing, too. Uh, in songs, the grammar is not always perfect. Uh, you know, we, in, Normally we say April 4th, but in the song it just says April 4. Uh, shot rings out. All right, here, if we say to... To ring out means to sound loudly. When you shoot, it sounds loudly. Uh, shot rings out 
Yeah, in the April, um, yes, all right, uh, free at last, they took your life. They took your life means they killed you, uh, but they could not take your pride. So even though he may have died, he kept his pride. And of course he was remembered. Maybe, you know, maybe dying this way made his, his movement stronger. Maybe it helped the movement more uh, than, than another way. In, in some ways, maybe same idea with uh, Jesus sacrificing his life. Uh, it's the same way. It's similar. It makes it stronger. It made it last longer. It made it deeper. Uh, so that's what he means it both in the same way. Okay, anyway. Uh, and then, of course, then it just goes into the chorus again, you know. Uh, also, in the name of love, what more in the name of love? So, again, that's the message that, I guess, you know, Jesus came in the name of love. Martin Luther King came in the name of love. Gandhi came in the name of love. They all did the peaceful protest. They didn't do the violent one. And theirs ended up being more successful for that reason, probably. Uh, okay, anyway, well, uh, I hope you got it. Uh, I hope it was clear. I hope it was food for thought. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.